act like we never left BDA and this episode for the most part was a good episode okay really good episode from what we've seen I start off where we left off Luffy jumped in stopped Rebecca saves Violet then Law does shambles switches Rebecca with a log or something saves Rebecca and then it starts from there they stretched it out and Luffy was getting controlled by Doflamingo which really wasn't in the manga and they did that for about I don't know five four or five minutes where Luffy was just walking towards Doflamingo we even had Doflamingo he was showing more of his awakening and that also was in the manga they did a lot more adding to the fight and then we got to the great part at the end of the episode with Luffy going gear fourth finally and going against Doflamingo now they reused the animation for gear four and I mean that's okay I mean I, I guess I expected it but the thing is like why was Luffy taking so long just to go gear four and defeat Doflamingo it was cool seeing Robin say um, I think Leo was really worried about Luffy more worried about the, the birdcage closing in he said it this continues and then Robin was she was okay she's like just believe in Luffy Luffy will come through he had a shot of Bartolomeo and all these other guys rooting him on cheering him on kind of saying Luffy let's go let's get it and then Luffy goes gear forth and he flies up into the air and then watching this episode made me think of this where Luffy being above Doflamingo and him coming down with that much weight on his punch the King Kong gun I feel like that that added to the destruction destructive power of King Kong gun that's why he went up in the air because I'm not sure if that punch based on how it was done is is meant for any other situation other than the final attack that's a final attack punch which is not going to hit everybody unless they're they're confident in their power and then Luffy you know goes to that because it takes some time and how big Luffy is I don't think he can move that fast once he's initiated King Kong and that's that was my thought so that's another thing that was working against Doflamingo where he was going up with his 16 heavenly strings god thread and Luffy was coming down with his King Kong gun so it was kind of interesting there seeing that Dofi again it's a lot of things going against him and the gamma knife as it showed was still affecting him so you know for people that think Law didn't have much to do with his defeat just, just go rewatch this episode, all right? Now it looked beautiful. It looked really good, really well done. We had some moments where the animation was spotty, but when they did the Gear Fourth King Kong gun versus the 16 Heavenly Strings, it was done really well. They, the buildup was really good. The anticipation was done. It, it was done really well. Next episode is the wrap up. Um, Doflamingo gets arrested, all that good stuff. And you know, it's it, the, the hype for Dress Rosa isn't over yet. We have Fuji going against Luffy. Ooh, spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> we have some more stuff happening in Dress Rose. It's not quite done yet, but we can pretty much say Dress Rose is a wrap. They even said that for the preview for next episode. And uh, uh, I don't know. The anime, you know, it's spotty. It has its moments, but this was a good moment. The first half was meh, but the second half was really good. It picked up for sure. Let me know what you thought about this episode. What do you think about what I said about Doflamingo going up and Luffy coming down? That was another advantage for Luffy where he, he just had the upper hand there. Like, Doflamingo wasn't going to go against, like, the gravity. Essentially, like that's what he's going against and Luffy's power. So let me know what you thought about that. Like the video if you did, subscribe to the channel. If you have not, that would be dope. Have a good day, people.